You priests and you bishops, you need to reform. You need to come out. You need the good ones need to get together and, and start making uh, um, press releases and press conferences and open letters about these mass murderer politicians. Don't don't be telling me you care about others and you can't even stand up for your and my innocent, defenseless, unborn children in the wombs of their mothers. Uh, last, last month, I got arrested for, we tried to pray and protest at a um, at a local high school here in Huntington Park, where we live, where I've lived since I was born, 1965. And um, never thought I'd see the day, kids, Honey Park High, Linda Marquez, Bell High, marching for abortion rights. Are you kidding me? And the, the conversation we had with some of the teachers, these people are, they are lost. They are super lost. And they aren't thinking right. I don't know how my wife said, I don't know, I don't know, no sé como ellos, ellos están uh, enseñando en una escuela. I don't know how they're teaching in a school. These people are pure evil. And so I was arrested for felony chalking. I chalked. It's not that I chalked. It's the message I chalked. Abortion is murder. 2363.org, which is the description of a late-term abortion by a former abortionist, Anthony Levitino, which actually doesn't show anything graphic, but describes it in, in cartoon form. And you can, you can see him in this great new movie, uh, The Matter of Life. Anyway, Live, live Action puts out this very short uh, five, seven minute video. And I also put another uh, uh, website called here's the blood.com, which live action puts out. And that I think is the one because that's the bloody graphic three minute video featuring Dr. Martin Luther King that will just make your neck break or, or just because you're just going to be rearing. I challenge anyone watching this to go to see, take three minutes off of your day, go to Here's the Blood uh, website called Here's the Blood.com, which live action puts out. And that I think is the one because that's the bloody graphic three minute video featuring Dr. Martin Luther King that will just make your neck break or, or just because you're just going to be rearing. I challenge anyone watching this to go to see, take three minutes off of your day, go to heresthebloodcom and see what happens to your and my little brothers and sisters in the wombs of their mothers. You, I, I can't believe people haven't seen it. Even the arresting officer said, because he went to some of the different sites and my site, showthevictims.com, he, he said he was just shocked. He had never seen sites. How is it that people haven't seen this? Where have we been? Where have we been in 50 years? 50 years. And we're afraid uh, of standing up in public because somebody might spit on our shoes or key our car if we have a, a pro-life bumper sticker on it. We are lost and we need to reform. So that's, that's my message uh, there. Uh, Jonathan, I, I hope you're able to, to get it out. I hope it changes hearts. Um, I do want to read something here that I wrote um, that I put on my babies I had blessed. I had uh, these. This is uh, the, the smallest baby, the 12-week, the is St. Jacinta. 
before she was born at 12 weeks. Jacinta and Francisco, um, who along with Sister Lucia in Fatima in 1917, uh, received the apparition of Our Lady. Uh, this is pre-born and pre-imprisonment. She and her brother were imprisoned. Um, and there, there's her brother, St. Francisco. I had these blessed as private devotion. That's St. Francisco at 16 weeks. Here is St. Miguel Pro, who was executed in, he was put in prison just for a night and then executed the next day during the reign of uh, uh, the evil communist Mexican president, Plutarco Elias Cayuz. That's Miguel Pro, St. Miguel, at 22 weeks in his mother's womb. And here we have St. Maximilian, St. Maximilian Kolbe, who spent a while in, I believe, Auschwitz before he was, he was executed. He took the place of another man who was going to be executed because of a prison break. Prison break that, that went down the line and took out every 10 people. And the one man who they took out, he, he cried out to the guard, please, no, I have a, a wife and children. Please don't kill me. As, re as you know, as a um, uh, punishment to the camp, they would do that. And St. Maximilian Kolbe, a Franciscan priest, um, took his place and eventually was received a lethal injection. Um, that's him at 26 weeks. Anyway, I, uh, I kind of, on January 1st, I started a devotion to imprisoned saints. Um, I don't know why. I just woke up on January 1st and just felt there should be a litany to saints who've been imprisoned. So I still just have a couple of dozen there. The last one is Edith in prison. Um, and there, there's her brother, St. Francisco. I had these blessed as private devotion. That's St. Francisco at 16 weeks. Here is St. Miguel Pro, who was executed in, he was put in prison just for a night and then executed the next day during the reign of uh, uh, the evil communist Mexican president, Plutarco Elias Cayuz. That's Miguel Pro. St. Miguel at 22 weeks in his mother's womb. And here we have St. Maximilian, St. Maximilian Kolbe, who spent a while in, I believe, Auschwitz before he was, he was executed. He took the place of another man who was going to be executed because of a prison break. Prison break that, that went down the line and took out every 10 people. And the one man who they took out, he, he cried out to the guard, please, no, I have a, a wife and children. Please don't kill me as, re as you know, as a um, uh, punishment to the camp. They would do that. And St. Maximilian Kolbe, a Franciscan priest, um, took his place and eventually was received a lethal injection. Um, that's him at 26 weeks. Anyway, I, uh, I kind of, on January 1st, I started a devotion to imprisoned saints. Um, I don't know why. I just woke up on January 1st and just felt there should be a litany to saints who've been imprisoned. So I, I just have a couple of dozen there. The last one is Edith Stein, Sister Maria Benedicta of the Cross, the Carmelite who died I believe in Dachau. Um, anyway, you will not identify more with our Lord in his being led captive to false charges and a show trial and execution on Holy Thursday night and Good Friday, nor with our preborn little brothers and sisters being led to state-sponsored false imprisonment and execution as when you are arrested for standing up and speaking out in defense of his rights and them. So you, I, I just experienced that. I was just held for 12 hours. September, I have to go back for the crime of the century felony chalking trial. If, if my attorney can't get 
the charges dropped. It's the message, not the me not the media, not the means, not the manner. You don't dare in, in America today chalk abortion is murder in front of a high school where they were walking out for abortion rights. How dare you? Or websites that expose what abortion is, like 2363.org or here's the blood.com. That was the delict, the, that was the delito, that was the crime. So we, all of us are guilty. Legalized abortion is slavery to Satan. We need to reform, we need to repent, we need to uh, cry out to God and, um, and ask, ask mercy. Be merciful on us, be merciful on our nation for this 50 year genocidal holocaust. Thank you very much. God bless you.